I've got some new golf clubs in the bag, which I'm going to show you in this video. However, does it mean I'm playing better golf? If I'm dead honest with you, no. I think I'm playing the worst golf of my life right now. I'll explain in this video why I think that is. We've got a mixture of new clubs and some old clubs as well. Let's start off with the old clubs that I've had in the bag. I mean, if you're a long time fan, you know I've had this in the bag for ages. Old Bluey, the three wood Cobra King F7. It's not going anywhere. I've actually used this club a lot more this year than ever before. 14 and a half degrees, extra stiff, Fujikora shaft. Love this thing, the weight at the back. I cannot see me swapping that club out of the bag for any time soon. So I just don't want it to do anything different to what that three wood already does for me. Driver, now this is an interesting one for me. I think they could potentially, with some new drivers being released early next year, which by the way, if you want to see the best reviews on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You're not going to want to miss them. This could change. Currently, I've got the Ping G425 Max driver. There's a weight at the back, which I've actually got into the fade setting to help me stop overdrawing it. I've got this set at nine degrees loft. And there's a few things I love about this driver. Number one, I love how straight I hit this driver. Granted, not every time, but overall, I've hit some of the straightest driver shots I've ever hit with this driver. It's forgiving, it looks inviting behind the golf ball, it's brilliant. However, it's not the longest for me. So, I think over the winter period, there's gonna be a couple of things I'd like to change. First off, I wanna get stronger, I wanna get faster, I wanna hit the ball further. I've played a few more longer golf courses this year and it's definitely highlighted that I'm losing distance in my old age. So I want to increase my club head speed, increase my ball speed, hit the ball further. It's a big trend at the moment. You're seeing the best players in the world do it. I think I should follow suit as well. I don't think this is going to give me maximum distance. So, say I might be on the hunt start of the year for something that's going to give me forgiveness, obviously, but something that's going to unlock a little bit more distance for me. Now, on that note, if I don't find a driver that I like as much, this will stay in the bag. It's not a dead cert I'm going to swap, but I'm interested in trying some others that might, again, unlock a bit of distance, but still keep the same forgiveness. That might not be out there, but hope it is. Next club in the bag, the putter. By the way, under this head cover, which by the way, there might be some merch coming soon, stay tuned. Under here, I've got an even roll ER2V. I've had even rolls in the, in the bag periodically for the, probably the last five years. Sometimes I swap out for a, a random Odyssey putter. But the moment, the one I'm on is this. It's the silver headed, really like this face. I like the design of the putter, I do. It's one that I've had in the bag in the past. I've had it in the black finish, yes. But right now I've got it in this finish. Only because, and it sounds like a daft thing to have it in the bag for, when this putter came for a review, it had this grip on it, which is the even roll tour tack. I love how flat the front is. I feel like I can get my hands on the putter really nicely. It just feels good in the hand. It's a good weight. I think putting is definitely, again, something I need to work on. I've actually recently had a putting lesson with one of the world's best putting coaches, Phil Kenyon. That video is going to come to the channel soon. And it definitely opened my eyes to why I'm not holding as many putts. And it's not particularly down to the putter. So that'll probably stay in the bag for the moment. Then... I'm moving into pretty much a lot of new irons and wedges. The only one that's actually still current from the last What's in the Bag I did was this, the Titleist U500 3 iron. Now, if you remember, if you saw that video, this is the reason why I'm hitting my 3 wood a lot more. I used to often carry a 2 iron, but that went so similar to my 3 wood, it almost made that club redundant. Having this in the bag now, off the tee, I like it for that kind of 220, 230 yard shot. And I also like hitting it into the par fives as well, if I need to, and even some long par fours. Just a nice club. I've got a Project X 6.5 shaft in that. Lovely golf club. And again, can't see that swapping anytime soon. So before I come on to my irons and my wedges, and also the reason why I think I'm playing the worst golf in my life right now, I want to cover a few other aspects I've got in my bag and some bits of technology I use. So technology-wise, sponsored by Garmin, I'm a Garmin ambassador. So I've currently got the Garmin Approach S62 watch. Great tool for finding out front, middle, back. Great tool for finding out far distances. It is to bunkers and hazards. And I use that pretty much all the time. I also use this rangefinder as well, which is the Garmin Z82. If you've not looked through a Garmin rangefinder, you get a chance to do, because it's almost like a computerized image, which is really cool. Every time I show someone that, the reaction is like, wow. Great tool for finding out distances and more accurate distances to the flag. I also carry a few other things. I have a Sharpie with a line me up 
ball marker. This helps me on the green, so I line it up on the ball to give me a dead straight line for when I'm putting. And actually, while I come on to golf ball, I currently use, and again, I've used this for a while, probably not gonna change this. I use the Titleist Pro V1, the latest one in the lineup, and I really like that ball as well. The other thing I've also been using, I've had it in the bag since I actually did the review of this golf ball, or it's kind of fun test. This multicolored ping golf ball, just have it in the bag. So sometimes before I go and play, it gives me a real true reflection of how I'm rolling the ball that day. If that line's wiggling everywhere, I need to work on my stroke and my face alignment. If it's rolling nice and straight, I'm in for a good day putting. Now moving into irons. Now you might remember from the last What's in the Bag video I did, I said I had no intentions on moving away from the tailor-made P7 MCs. I love those irons a lot. I loved how they felt, how they looked, how they performed. However, one morning, came down here to the Marriott and I was doing a product review with a new set of irons. So I very carefully took the tailor-mades out and put them in the back of my car, which I thought was just gonna be a short-term thing, take them out of the bag, to put in these irons. But after testing, the irons in a video, which you might have seen, these have never come out since. And they are the Titleist T100s. Now, looks-wise, feel are very similar to TaylorMade. So that's probably why it was quite an easy transition at first. The one thing, however, I noticed, if I could pick up on anything between the Titleist and the TaylorMades, my bad shot is a little bit of an overdraw, a little bit of shots that go too far left. These Titleists for me do not go too far left for me. It might be a psychological thing or the way that the weight's been distributed in the head, but it feels like my bad shots are slightly better. So that's why they stayed in the bag. From four iron down to nine iron, and I like them a lot. And for those of you who really want to get into the spec, I've currently got Project X 6.5 Precision shafts in. I've got these Golf Pride MCC Plus 4 grips, which I've actually just made a little bit thicker at the bottom as well, so slightly more parallel down the grip, which for me just helps my right hand from turning over too much. It keeps the face a little bit more stable. Yeah, I like these a lot. These are in the bag at the moment. Don't see me any reason to change, but I did say that last time. Finally, Moving into my wedges. Oh, wedges. Now, last time, if you remember again, what's in the bag, I was definitely on the hunt for some new wedges. I had the tailor-made MG2s in the bag for a while, the ones with the rusty faces, and uh, slowly but surely just fell out of love. So I felt like I needed a change, something that could help me. I wanted to source a slightly different wedge setup. I've always used a very traditional pitching wedge from the set, I fancied a little bit of a change this time. So, I've ended up going down the route of getting some SM8 wedges. I carry four. So I've actually got a 46 degree, which is basically a pitching wedge, in 10 degree bounce F grind. I've got a 50 degree wedge, so like my gap, gap wedge, in 12 degrees bounce F grind as well. I've got a 54 wedge, which is effectively my sand wedge, 14 degrees bounce F grind. And then lastly, I've got a 60 degree wedge in my bag, 14 degree K grind. Now, I think the simple idea of this is that I wanted as much help as possible. That's why a lot of the wedges have got very, very high bounce numbers to help me use that bounce a little bit more when I'm playing my short game shots. And at the moment, in practice, it's close. It's almost there, I'm chipping better, but getting out on the golf course yet. That is the big downside. Kind of in here a little bit at the moment, that confidence needs to build. And it brings me quite nicely onto why do I feel right now, even though I've got new golf in the clubs in the bag, which I really like, why am I playing some of the worst golf? I'm honest, it's down to me, believe it or not. I'm not playing loads and loads of golf. I played loads at the start of the year when I was doing the Break 75 series, which I loved. And each time I was playing week and week, I felt like I was getting better. My confidence was rising. As we've hit the tail end of the season, certainly now as we get to the winter time, I'm not practicing as much. I'm not working on my own game. And therefore, I am losing confidence. So, there's a couple of things I want to change. I want to build on myself. I want to improve my technique. I want to play more through the winter, get out some more Lynx golf courses, come and play golf for you guys to enjoy on video. So next year, I come back better, stronger, being able to hit a chip shot for once in my life and just play better golf. That's why at the moment I feel like I'm playing bad. It's not the clubs, 
down to me. Oh, by the way, do you want to win a one of a kind Vokey Wedge Rick Shields edition? Well, I'm giving one away to a lucky subscriber. All you've got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel. We're getting close to 2 million. It'd be great before the end of the year. And leave a comment on this video. I'll pick someone in the next couple of weeks and announce it on social media. Good luck, everyone.